Hello, I'm Atubo George, and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, this is a new week, and the Spirit of God has already gone ahead of you. It's going to be a great week, and hey, the month of March is ending in a few days' time. Now, the Lord told us that the month of March is a month of speed, and we've been seeing speed in all things. And hear me? Before the end of this month, you are going to see manifestations of things that you didn't even know was working behind the scene. God has been doing a lot of things. Angels have been working for you. But I tell you one thing, before this month ends, you will see a miracle. Praise God. Let's just pray. Father, we bless you today. Thank you, Lord, for your utterances coming forth. I declare right now, burdens are being lifted, yokes are being destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone hearing the sound of my voice is blessed right now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise God. Now, we've been talking about fulfilling prophecies. And I thought we are going to finish last week, Friday. But there are still things the Holy Spirit have put in my heart that I should share with you. So turn your Bibles with me today to Revelations chapter 19. Something so important. You know, we follow as the Spirit of God leads. Revelation chapter 19. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now look at verse 10. Revelation 19 and verse 10. John speaking here, he says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. Now, he's been having this fellowship with this man. Praise God. Now, well, he, he says, I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. No, don't do it. See? Watch this. Thank you, Lord. I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of jesus you know some people felt that this is this is amazing some people felt or even many preachers still today still feel this was an angel that was talking to john no it wasn't an angel that was talking to john there are things we we assume you know we think we know because of certain patterns that we are used to but what you don't understand is this for example, Jesus had an experience with the disciples. Jesus had an experience with Peter and, and John and I think one other person. And they were on that mountain with the Lord. Peter, James and John, yeah, they were together on that mountain in the Mount of Transfiguration. And then uh, the, John, Peter and James suddenly saw Elijah and Moses appeared and they were communicating with jesus now that was not a vision it wasn't a vision they looked up and they, they saw jesus was in it like you're with someone but he's in a different world and you see two people talking to him now john was having an experience here now what do you think uh, moses and elijah were telling jesus in that meeting so you you see jesus having a meeting with moses and Elijah. I say, how can that be? Uh, think about it. These men did not even die. See, God took them out of the earth. Praise God. So, so they can actually come back any day and have a meeting. <laughs> Is that not amazing? Now, Jesus was having a meeting with them. And they were telling Jesus things that he needed to know. And they had that fellowship. And, and Peter and John were there looking at like, they, they, it's not Jesus that came to tell them that, oh, I just finished having him. They saw what was going on. Praise God. So, John had a meeting with someone, and the person was telling him things about the kingdom of God. Now, he said, so who was the person if it wasn't an angel? We were not told who the person was. But from the statement of the person himself, you will know this is not an angel. Now, remember at this time, Jesus has risen from the dead. And according to the scriptures, when Jesus rose from the dead, all the saints that died before Jesus rose 
with him. Did you read that in your Bible? Find that in Matthew chapter 27. All the saints that died before Jesus rose up with Jesus. Their graves were open. So they came out. So this is not spiritual. They came out as body. And Bible said they entered the city and people saw them. And of course, see, these men must have ascended with Jesus. Because in, in, in the book of Acts, when Jesus ascended, Bible said a cloud received him out of their sight. Those were clouds of people who were waiting for him so they go up into heaven now what does that tell you that tells you that there are lots and lots of people in heaven with jesus today praise god not not people who died and say he has died he has gone no people who entered heaven with their bodies like jesus did jesus didn't die again to go to heaven spiritually no he went with his body so jesus can actually come today so John was having fellowship with someone and he, he, he thought he's heard some amazing things and here he went on his knees and he wanted to worship this person. And the person looked at his statement and says, and he said unto him, see thou do it not, don't do it. Why? I am thy fellow servant. An angel will never say he is our fellow servant. I want you to understand, you know why? Because angels serve us. The Bible says, Are they not all ministering spirits sent to minister to them who shall be heirs of salvation? Are you getting what I'm saying? So angels were sent to minister to us. So an angel cannot introduce himself as our fellow, you know, and they say, I'm your fellow servant. I, I hope you're getting what I'm saying. Now, now, look at what he said, and this is more striking than what, what he just said. He said, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. Look at that statement now. I am of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Whoa, praise God. Now, angels don't carry the testimony of Jesus. They are servants. They do what they are told. To carry the testimony of Jesus, you don't know what that means. That means, God, you, you, you must be the son of man, first of all, before you can carry the testimony of Jesus. Because to carry the testimony of Jesus, remember, in, 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 in the book of Psalms, Psalm 82, G, no, in John chapter 10, Jesus was quoting Psalm 82. And when he says, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. Then Jesus now said, if he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came. So who are those he called gods? The people who the word of God came to, who received the word of God. I'm going somewhere with this. What's he saying? The people God called gods are the people that carry the testimony of God. And now we know that in Jesus Christ, the fullness of the Godhead bodily dwells. So when he says carry the testimony of God, you're talking about the testimony of Jesus. So when this man said, I am one of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus, he said, I am one who believe in Jesus like you. I am one who have been sent forth to minister like you. So who is this person? Praise God. Well, that's a topic for another day. Now, now watch this. And he says, Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Now, you remember we've been talking about fulfilling prophecies. Now, he tells us here that, what is the spirit of prophecy? He says, it is the testimony of Jesus. Now, this is very powerful. What does this tell you? What does it mean to carry the testimony of Jesus? You know, people confuse these things, but listen, I'll make bold to tell you this. The testimony of Jesus is not just about reading your Bible. You will not get the testimony of Jesus simply by opening your Bible to read. The only person who gives the testimony of Jesus is the Holy Spirit. And if the Holy Spirit doesn't speak to you, you can never have the testimony of Jesus. You may quote all the scriptures. You may know it. You may, you may cram the scriptures. 
And anywhere you want to quote, you quote. It still doesn't mean you carry the testimony of Jesus. The ones who carry the testimony of Jesus are the ones who have heard from Jesus. The ones who have had an encounter with Jesus. If you've never had an encounter, now when I mean encounter, I'm not just talking about you sleeping in the night and someone walk into your room and say, I am Jesus. No, no, that's not just what I'm, it can be that, it is beautiful, but hear me, having an encounter with God is simply having the Holy Spirit visiting you with his word. So you may be reading your Bible, but you know that moment when you hear beyond what is written. You know that moment when you hear a voice speaking to you and speaking truth to you. Now he says, that testimony that comes by the agency of the Holy Spirit. Now remember what Jesus said. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. How is he going to come to us? He says, I will pray the Father and he will give you another comforter. And that is the Holy Spirit. And he says, the world cannot receive him. What does that mean? The world cannot receive the testimony of Jesus Christ. So the testimony of Jesus Christ is only given to those who receive him. And when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, he begins to minister, that's the Holy Spirit now, begins to minister to your heart. And when he does that, everything he tells you and you believe becomes you being positioned to fulfill testimonies, prophecy, sorry. That's why I said the testimony of Jesus Christ is the Spirit of prophecy. Now, to stretch that statement, he said the Spirit of fulfilling prophecies. Because what is the point God telling you something that you will not fulfill? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. If God tells you something, he is telling you because you are part of the fulfillment of that thing. So your role when you hear from the Lord is to believe. You understand what I'm talking about? So you see through scriptures, everyone the word of God came to and they believed it. They fulfilled something. See, just like Mary said, when she received the word, you will conceive and you will have a son and you will call his name Jesus. Okay? She asked, how will these things be? He says, the spirit of God will overshadow you and the power of highest will rest upon you. All right. What, was she, what did she say? What was her concluding statement? He said, be it unto me according to your word and you remember when she went to see her her aunt elizabeth and she told her blessed is the one who believed for there shall be a performance because mary believed she was blessed and what happened she fulfilled so the same thing today the holy spirit is speaking to us and the things he tells you it is your job to believe when you believe there will be what a performance of those things that have been told you now listen you may read the word you may read the bible and you know you just realize you're wondering you will wonder until the voice of god comes to you there is something about the voice of god and that's why i tell people listen anything you have to do to get to that place where you hear god for yourself do it these are the days that God is picking out his children for himself. And he is communicating with them himself. See, remember I told you when we started this series, God says, look, in that day, no one will say to his neighbor, know the Lord, for they will all know me for themselves from the least to the greatest. The same thing Joel said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Why will they prophesy? Because they will be hearing the voice of God. Why will they see visions? Because the Lord himself will be appearing and revealing things to them. So that's still saying the same thing Jeremiah spoke about. Every one of God's children will be hearing God for themselves. No one will need someone to come and say, I have a prophecy for you. No, 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 no. There will be no need for that. Because as you come to him and say, I have a prophecy for you, he will tell you the prophecy. You say, yeah, actually, that's what I came to tell you. Yeah, I heard the same thing this morning from the Lord. Praise God. Our time is up. Listen, God is set to do amazing things. As, as you receive those words, you are having an experience with him. 
God bless you. Step out today and win. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>